the Antergos Linux project. They have announced that they're about to go ahead and stop development. On May 21st, 2019, the development of Antergos has ended. Something pretty surprising happened. Antergos has quit. They are done. Let's start with, I think, what is probably the news that sort of shocked me the most this week, and that is the Antergos project has announced it's coming to an end. Before Antergos, the landscape of the Arch ecosystem was quite different from what it is today. Arch was seen more like an elitist distribution, one that was pretty difficult to approach for inexperienced people and newcomers. At the same time, me and many other people alike felt the need for a bleeding edge rolling release distribution and Arch really seemed like the best option. Still, for what Arch represented at the time, I saw it more like an, an unreachable destination, like some less distro for high minds or something. In 2012, Saint Arch is born. Its original objective was pretty simple, bringing an Arch distribution with the Cinnamon desktop environment. With time, they tried to make the installation process progressively easier, later introducing their graphical installer called Kinky. At this point, Saint Arch looks like a good way to get into the Arch ecosystem without the hassle of the installation and with a level of simplicity and polish of something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. They're really off to a great start and a community quickly gathers around it. One year later, in 2013, they decided to switch their default desktop environment from Cinnamon to Gnome and subsequently changing their name to Antergos. In 2014, I found out about Antergos and I decided to try it and to review it since I thought it was a pretty interesting idea. In reviewing it, I quickly realized how great it was. I mean, it had its problems, particularly with the installer. It didn't always work right. Still, for me, it was a godsend. It was a simple way to get into Arch and see with my eyes how it was to use in my day-to-day -day life. Soon after the review, I nuked my Ubuntu install and replaced it with Antergos. The experience was just incredible. I had the latest GNOME release, the latest software, the latest kernel, all in a very simple and well put together package. Sometime after switching to Antergos, I actually switched to standard Arch. My choice wasn't necessarily to distance myself from Antergos, rather I was experienced enough to be able to install Arch manually following the wiki and besides I wanted to make my own choices during the install. Still, Antergos was a vital piece in my learning experience towards Arch and towards the wider Linux ecosystem in general. It had an important spot in my heart and it was always the first distro that I suggested to all my friends. It's understandable. People start projects and at some point they just no longer have the time or, or the resources to keep up with it. This really makes you think. A model like the one Elementary IS uses, where they try to make some money out of the ISO downloads or, or out of their store, or maybe even the Patreon model of monthly contributions, they're probably two of the few ways to be able to keep up with a project like this. Fortunately, they were smart enough to manage the project discontinuation as gracefully as possible. At this point, existing Antergo systems still work, and this is mainly because they use the upstream Arch repos, with the addition of their own repository for uh, some other packages that are still available in the AUR anyway. According to their announcement, they will soon release an update that will disable the Antergos repo and uninstall all the packages that are no longer needed. Moreover, at this point, it's fairly easy for whoever is interested to pick up the uh, Antergos project, fork it and make their own continuation of it. And a group of people has already expressed their willingness to pick up the Antergos' legacy. Their upcoming project has still no official name, but they're referring to it internally as Project Endeavor. To be honest, the Antergos team couldn't have done a better job for the final chapter of this story.
With Antergos gone, it's clear that we need an alternative, both for new people and experienced people alike. In many videos I've talked about the importance of an Arch-based distro and having the possibility to use one without the hassle and the steep learning curve of pure Arch is incredibly important. The closest alternative to Antergos at this point is probably Manjaro. Manjaro aims to bring billing edge software with the convenience of automation to reduce manual intervention to the minimum. Manjaro has a great community around it and it's one of the most appreciated distros, especially recently. Just like Antergos, Manjaro offers a variety of desktop environments, some that are supported by the core team, like GNOME and XFC, some others that are community supported but still officially endorsed. Probably the biggest problem with Manjaro is that it doesn't use the upstream Arch repos. For most people it isn't a big deal, and if it isn't for you, you're probably going to have a great experience. To be fair, there are a couple other distributions that I want to mention in this video that are in a way close to what Antergos tried to be, but at the same time not as much. One is Arch Linux, and Arch Linux tries to be a learning experience more than a distribution. They offer a multi-phase learning path, providing three different ISOs of their particular Arch spin. The thing about Arch Linux is that, in my opinion, it wasn't made to be a distribution like Antergos, they just install, use and forget. It's more again of a learning experience. It wants to teach you how to use Arch and how to install your own Arch system. The other one I wanted to mention is still a pretty new distribution. It's called Swag Arch. It's a very simple concept. It's just mainstream Arch with a graphical installer, they use Calamaris, and the Batgi desktop environment on top. At this point, it's still too simple to compare it with full blown Antergos, but it's still worth checking out. So guys, this is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Also make sure to check out the TechPills website at techpills.technology as well as the awesome TechPills community at techpills.technology slash community. Again guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Goodbye Antergos, it was a good run.